So anyways, that's all, uh, that's all that. And now we're off to do our very first mission. One of our very long line of missions that, that spans across the galaxy over several planets. Uh, these are known as the Legacy Quests. I'm not sure why they're called that, but that is just what they're called. And I don't think I'm going to be showing you, like, all this travel time, because right now we don't have a speeder. We are trying to get one. And that is a very odd shadow. Anyways. So we're going to be running around all over Mos Eisley to get these speeder parts. A destroyed engine part. There's some more parts you'll need. Look and see if you can find a power supply nearby. Will do, hon. And here this is, like a hundred and some meters away. I'll be right there. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, you know, 10,000 credits isn't, like, that isn't anything. That's like chump change. That's, that's not even pocket change. You know, like the average, like the average unit of currency in the universe in this galaxy is like 100,000 credits. And even that, that's not, like, that's not a whole lot. You know, items trade for millions and millions of credits. It's, uh, if you haven't played the game before, it might seem kind of crazy ridiculous, but, uh, you know, that's just how the economy turned out. And it's not that, uh, you know, credits aren't exactly hard to come by either, so, you know, whatever. A busted speeder bike. Let's get a steering right from the speeder bike. Oh yeah, click that bike. Alright, time to get a chassis. You know, I guess we're just gonna find some, like, random chassis and, like, shove all these parts into it and get a brand new speeder. What's an at, -AT like doing in the middle of this... What is that? A smuggler's computer. Why is there a smuggler's computer, like, in the middle of this... Uh, let, let me get in here. On my way. Smuggler's computer. Why does this object not interest me? Ah! It's a Tuscan! Out of my way! Chronicle Relic. Collect loot from Tuscan. Huh. I have no idea what these Chronicle items are, are again. But I will pick them up, just for the heck of it. So anyways, let's go on to this uh, broken down speeder and shove all our parts into it and hope it works. What's this? Black metal Yaffe baton? Who's attacking me? Oh, these people are attacking me. They're just like, he's he's on the other side of that wall, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him, guys, as soon as he comes around. They're all just like, staring at the rock in unison, waiting for me to come around. But anyways, we just got our speeder. The deed is now in our inventory. Uh, let me just loot these guys quick. But anyways, inventory. Oh, he's contacting us about our next mission. Sorry, someone was jamming me. Anyway, now that you don't, now that you have a speeder, why don't you speed back into town and see my friend Paul? He can give you a customization kit for it. Alright, yeah, so now we can, uh, you know, once we summon our speeder, there's our lovely speeder. Even though that's the chassis we just stuffed all, all our components into, this is our speeder here, and this is an X38 speeder, I think. Let me, yeah, XP38. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the uh, new speeder that came out that uh, Luke complained about when he was trying to sell his speeder for cash. When he was trying to get off my so Moss Eisley. He's all like, oh, my like XP-34, it's it doesn't sell for anything anymore. Because these XP-38s came out. And I guess this is the new speeder. So, sorry Luke. Sorry for giving in to uh, the, new, the new speeder craze. 
But as you can see, we are moving around much faster now that we have a speeder. Let's get out. Let's go talk to Paul. Hey, Paul. You kind of look like a girly man. I have to say. Talk to Paul. You must be Hans, buddy. You tell him this is it. My debt's paid off. I can't just hand things, hand these things out, you know. Well, you know, I think you can, honestly. They're not worth that much. Oh, hey, a Jawa. Anyways. Now we have our vehicle customization kit. I think job is on to me. I can't risk making contact with you. Contact like this, but job is after you, you to work for him, too. Now meet me... Meet my friend Vork at the starport. He'll tell you what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, you know, just hold your horses, Han. I want to pimp out my speeder. So let's uh, target our speeder. And, uh... Let's color the frame first. And you got all these uh, nice colors to choose from. Is there, like, a green? I want to see if I can, like, color it like our friend Crunchbar here. Now we can color our trim. Color very, very, uh, very large assortment of colors, unlike the frame. And let's, uh, let's make it the same color as our, like, little horseshoe imprint on our forehead. If we can. And close enough. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and ride around in our pimped out. Uh, green and purple, green and red speeder. And head over to meet Vork. So apparently Biv has an offer for us that we have not heard about. Do 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 do. And you don't need to worry about crashing into things. See, look. Kapow! Oh look, nothing happened to us. Because again, there there is no collision damage. You know, whatever. I have work. Work for them. Or something. You have some nice shades there, bud. You have to hurry. Jabba's already searching for you. Why does Jabba want, me to, for want to force me to work for him? Can't explain right now. But it, the Empire wanted you because you're special. Oh, I'm special now. Well, I guess I am Crunchbar. And that's that's good enough for him to want you to. That's all I can say right now. I'm not doing anything you ask until I know why Jabba is after me. The Empire thinks you're something special. That's enough to get... Yeah, you already told me that. Well, I doubt Jabba will get involved in this personally. He'll probably have someone like Bib take care of you. I don't care who talk, contacts me. I don't want to work for Jabba. Who does? I know someone on the inside. His name is... Ramos. He's been forced to work for Jabba also. How can he help me? It sounds like he has his own problems. He thinks the local shipping company is up front for something terrible. He said, he says he's on the way so he can stop those horrible crimes and get square with Jabba all at once. You just have to play along. How do I meet this guy? You will. But you have to work for your work your way up to it. Ramos is doing sensitive work for Jabba. He's not going to put some with someone he doesn't trust on that job. How do I know who, he, who is on our side? You won't. Just do what Bib asks and we'll handle the rest. I don't know anything about Mon- Yes, I do. Well, if you ask me a flagship for him. Well, that's no problem. We did save Tansari Point Station. Okay, I'll do what he says. Go now! Okay. Bad for good. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. Ah, the troublemaker. Jabba is not pleased with you. Go see Nico. If you can help him do some jobs for Jabba, it might buy you some mercy. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how Bib got my uh my commuter carrier frequency. Hey, fatty. That's a very nice triple mohawk you got going there. Jabba says you're good muscle. Well, I need a rival getting roughed up. Think you can do that? What did they do? They killed one of Jabba's couriers and stole some valuable Old Republic coins. Jabba wants them back. What about the gangers that have them? 
Dove wants them dead as an example to any other upstart gangs. You want me to kill them in cold blood? Well, I don't, I don't have a problem with that, considering the crazy lady back on the Tansari Point Station had me kill people just to take blood samples. It won't be cold, pal. I can tell you that. I'll see if I can get your coins back. Yeah, coins. Just make sure those gangs are dead. Um, okay. Kill swoop gangers to recover Java's coins. Alright, sounds cool. Do 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 do. Nice little binary load lifter droid right there. Ah. Oh god. Oh yeah, this, this is kind of annoying. Uh, local security will sometimes just like stop you for no reason and just like inspect you. So we just gotta wait here for for a couple seconds, waiting for a uh, you know ball sack head to stop uh, stop inspecting us. And you know what? You can inconvenience me, so you are dead now. Uh, die, police officer. How dare you do your job? Kapow. Unidentified serum vial. That is junk. Alright, on to our quest. Uh, how do I get out of here? I think I can squeeze out of here. Uh, no? Damn. Ah. Alright, how do I get out of here? Oh, here's, here's a spot to get out. Oh god, there's all these, uh, all these hostile enemies in the, in the vicinity. Alright, so, I guess we have to just go around killing Swoop Gang Punks. They're level 6, so this this shouldn't be a problem. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh. I guess we're fighting enemies that, uh, will be able to take more than one special hit. So, you know, whatever. Alright, we got two coins. Die, scum. How dare you take Java's coins. Now I'll just take a second to loot these bodies. Alright, die, scum. At least we're killing, like, swoop gangs, and not, like, Helpless innocents. Well, I mean, these guys are these guys are helpless, but they aren't they are innocent. They're like gangs, gang members and such. All right, let's go uh, return those coins to Nico. And at any time, you can uh, summon your speeder. You know, just just pull a giant speeder out of your pocket. And at any time, you can just stuff it right back into your pocket. Well, to be to be uh, technically accurate, you pull it out of your data pad, which I guess your data pad has like storage space now for speeders. But you know, whatever. So we got those old Republic coins, and we are heading back to Nico, the stupid triple Mohawk guy. Here you go, fatty. Here's your coins. Here's your money. Bib wants you to talk to Dunier about doing a delivery for him. Deliveries? What am I supposed to deliver? A package for Dunier. That's all you need to worry about. What if I refuse? I let the local authorities know you were the one that killed those gangers. Big whoopity doo da. I killed a policeman because he pulled me over. Then all you have to worry about is dodging the law and job as hitmen. Oh, well, Java is kind of a bigger problem. This deal is getting worse all the time. It's better than being dead. Here's where you can find Dunier. 
Okay. Bye. All right, where's Dunier? Here's Dunier. He's just hanging out. Hey, bud. How'd you like to make some fast credits? <laughs> I'm always interested in credits. Fast, slow, or otherwise. Good, good. See, all I need to do is take this package out to some friends of mine on the outskirts of town. Think you're up for that? Maybe. What's in the package? I don't have a clue. But I have been assured it contains nothing illegal or dangerous. Well then, I'll take care of it for you. Great. Here's the box and its destination. Okay. I know I have no idea... Oh, by the way, there's a sandstorm going on. By the way, I have uh, no idea why these uh, missions are relevant. I'm just doing them. Alright, so let's uh, scoot, scoot around town. By the way, th here's the uh, Lucky Despot. It's a ship that crashed, and they converted it into a cantina. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool concept. Uh, let's see. Continue scooting on around Moss Isley to deliver this package. Oh god. Oh god. Load. Load, you can do it. Alright, so we are here at this, uh, this smuggler camp, I guess. And we're about to talk to this, this upstanding Trandoshan fellow, with a very broad chin and very big eyes, called Toggy Bok. What do you want? I have a package for you from Dunier. That's great. I've been waiting on this. I'll translate the... Transmit delivery code to Dunier. I guess we're uh, standing by for Dunier's calm. Let's take a seat while we, while we wait for two seconds. I just got the payment from Toggy. Good job. I just need you to do one more thing for me. I need you to go to the White Thronta shipping offices and pick up a package for me. Here's their location. Oh, okay. And it is a kilometer out there, so I might just uh, cut to me getting there. Or if I say uh, anything of, you know, somewhat relevance. Alright, so we are coming up on the White Thranta shipping offices. It's this is uh, a nice little bunker here. It's got, you know, these uh, very very official looking security guards with their like little spike heads. Alright, let's go on in. Drop off this package. Um... Was I supposed to go in? I honestly, I honestly don't know. Oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, go in. Maybe maybe we'll talk to the receptionist. Hey, receptionist. Hello. May I help you? I'm here to pick up the package for, package for Dunier. I have that package right here. Here you go. Okay. Stand by for Dunier's other comm. I guess he has multiple comm links. I just got the pickup confirmation code from the White Thranta receptionist. Bring, bring that to me and we can get your fee all worked out. Here's a return location for convenience. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll just go back to Dunier. I will see you there.